Hello again, guys. It's Carly from The Poetry of Nice, and I am back with my weekly sales update. So I'm going to show you sales from the previous week, which would be the 6th of May up until the 12th of May. Um, and this is going to be from Poshmark and eBay. Once again, no Etsy sales for me this week. I have been listing more on Etsy and more intentionally, but I'm just not seeing the fruits of that labor quite yet. So I'll keep you uh, up to date on that, as it were. But yes, Posh and eBay um, for this week. Um, and I had some good sales, like at least good numbers, a good quantity of sales, I suppose you could say. So what I'll do is the same as pretty much every weekly sales update, if you've seen these before. Um, I will show you each and every item that sold this week. I'll tell you where I picked it up, how much I originally paid, how much my buyer paid bearing in mind my buyers almost always pay shipping if there was free shipping involved I will let you know sometimes on Poshmark I do offer a shipping incentive when I send out offers to likers which is a dollar and 80 cents that I pay towards their shipping so just bear that in mind as well um, and then right at the end of the video I will give you um, all of the numbers I'll let you know what my gross sales were how much I paid for all of the items how much I paid in fees and of course my net profit that I walked away with at the end of this week um, okay so let's just crack on uh, first sell to show you here on Poshmark is a pair of Steve Madden boots. I actually got these just about two weeks ago um, on like, it was a haul video that I put up and I think it's titled like my best haul ever, part one shoes, which I'll go ahead and link in the cards for you guys in case you haven't seen it. Um, and I picked up loads of shoes as you can imagine by that title. This is one pair, um, $2.40 was the average cost of goods. Um, for each and every item from that haul. So these were $2.40 and they sold for 33 like you see here. And they sold in less than a week, actually probably about two or three days, I think, of being listed. Um, this item I paid, ooh, go up, um, I paid 50 cents at a rummage sale. I got two versions of these, one sold, no, I think I have one left, actually. And then this one is sold already. Um, this has probably been listed now for about two or three months, honestly. It's Grey's Anatomy, as in like by Barco, which they do scrubs and things like that, that kind of wear. And I'll go ahead and show you the label. There you go, Grey's and me by Barco. Um, and this can be quite popular, and I do like to sell the scrub, scrub tops and bottoms. They're usually solid colors. Um, but I've never come across these before. It was just literally a long sleeve, sort of almost like a burnout top. Um, it says surgery, like life, is a team sport. Um, so I figured it might take a little while, but I didn't think it was going to sell on Posh, I'll be honest, so I was surprised. Um, 50 cents is what I paid. $20 um, is what somebody offered me, and I accepted uh, these vintage gap shorts sold they were what I called a carpenter style you can kind of see in this photo a little bit better they did have the carpenter strap they were a high rise uh, they were a 10 inch they just sort of squeaked into the high rise there um, and they were from approximately the 90s um, so I paid 50 cents at a rummage sale for these they sold for $25 as you see there which was my full asking price uh, the next is a bundle, um, so I'm going to show you the next, I think it's four items, and then I'll let you know at the end like how much all of it was. So there was a Chico's leopard print uh, jacket, like a moto jacket with a zipper detail. There was this Athleta um, shirt, and it was kind of like burnout, you can kind of see coming through here at the top. And then um, down around here, there is a small tag that you can find that has a style number on for Athleta, so I could find the actual name of it, which was the two-layer tunic in raspberry. Um, so this was part of that bundle. Then this Gap Blue and White Polka Dot Academy blazer. I picked this up thinking that it was going to do similarly to a J Crew. Um, it's not, is it the schoolboy blazer? I think it's a schoolboy blazer for J. Crew. And the Academy blazer is very sort of similar in cut and whatnot, and the prints like the polka dot, but this took a little bit of a while to sell. And then the last piece was this other Chico's piece as well, just a very sheer top with like a little peplum kind of ruffle at the bottom. So all together, all four of those items were $8.90. I got them from different places, yard sales, rummage sales, thrift stores. Um, and the total price for this bundle that the buyer paid was $75, which was a great price for those four items. Um, Michael Kors, I picked this up for 50 cents at a rummage sale. I'm really picky with Michael Kors, Michael by Michael Kors, I should say. Um, I'll go ahead and show that label as well. So this is like the lower end where you see Michael Large right there. I mean, it was quite a nice, my photos were terrible, black, just like, but, you know, it blows everything out. You just can't see much. It had like a twist front there. And it was, it had some a little bit of wash wear and things like that to it. And I didn't take good photographs, so it took a long time to sell. And it eventually sold for $12. I would probably steer clear of this kind of stuff um, as I move forward, I have to say. But that's okay, lesson learned. Um, okay, this top I actually picked up, I think, 
it was just last weekend, actually. So this sold really quickly within about a week or so. Um, 45 cents is how much I had into this Athleta top, and I took a best offer or sent out best offer one or the other, um, for $18. It was embroidered. When I looked up this actual style, because again, I had that style number, um, it wasn't a super popular style, but I was happy to see it move so quickly. And $18 is just fine for me for the, for an athleta top. Okay, uh, this scrub top, I don't pick up all character scrubs, um, but I don't see a lot of Toy Story out there, I'll be honest. Toy Story 4 is about to come out. It's super popular. It was in really nice shape, um, you know, barely any wash wear and things like that, and a really cute print. So anyway, um, uh, long story short, I picked it up. I paid 41 cents, again, all averaged out for that particular whole day. Um, and it sold for $20 on a best offer. And that probably sold in about three weeks, I think it was. Um, and then these Sperry shoes, these have been listed for a really long time, probably six or seven months at this point. But I think their time is just coming around, you know, Memorial Day, 4th of July, summertime. Um, I thought they were cute anyway. They were called the Hope Espadrille Sandals. They were had this like nautical feel to it. And they even had little like anchors stitched into the straps there. I thought they were really, really cute. Perfect for 4th of July. Anyway, I paid a dollar and they sold for 18 uh, this bra sold for $10. Finally, I've had it forever. Victoria's Secret, the soft cut bras just don't seem to do that well for me, I have to say. Um, it was like a black and gold metallic. So it was a really nice piece, but it was very hard to show again in photographs. And I think that like the padded pieces and things like that, like the plunge bras and stuff, they do tend to do a little bit better for me. So paid a dollar, finally sold it for 10 Happy to see it go. Um, these I picked up just... Not last week, the week before, I think it was. Um, and I picked them up. I paid 45 cents for these, I think it was. Yes, it was. It evened out to 45 cents. Um, I picked them up because they were Dansko brand. Found them at a rummage sale. Now, they did have some wear, and I'm going to show you that up close in a second. You can see down here just about there's the logo. Um, and, yeah, the detail on them was really, really cute, like, every single button was slightly different. I did manage to find out that they were the Baker boots, ankle boots. Um, and let me show you this wear. You can kind of you can see right here. This is after I treated the leather a little bit as well. So it still had this showing up a lot of scuffing there. Um, however, I've already got back the feedback. The person was super happy with them. Um, they paid $25. So 45 cents into $25. Um, I'm really happy with that. And hopefully they got a good deal that they'll enjoy as well. Uh, this was a new brand for me. This cost me 41 cents. Um, and it was out of season, so I took a best offer. I took a best offer of $15, like you see here. The comps looked a little bit better, um, but I just wasn't too sure. Like I said, it was out of season. Uh, I don't know. I kind of ummed and out. I wasn't, the comps didn't really convince me, if that makes sense. They were kind of all over the place. Some were higher, some were not. This was just a very simple cowl neck, like thin knit piece. That was the brand right there. Um, so I went ahead and took the best offer. But I will say it did sell in two weeks or less. So that is, you know, a pretty timely flip. Uh, this sold in just a few days of being listed, which didn't surprise me. All Talbot's plus size, I almost always pick up if it's cute. This was a cream and navy blue polka dot shirt. And you can see down here, this blouse, it has like a tie front. Really, really cute. And it was a size 2X. Um, for this, I paid 45 cents. This was from last week as well. Sold in just a day or two. And it sold for 22 on a best offer, as you see there. White House Black Market, I'm super picky with this brand as well. I thought this was cute. The print, not so much, but the layered tiered look looked really, really nice. Um, and so uh, I paid a dollar for this, and I finally took a best offer of 14 Um this piece right here, I paid 41 cents for. Again, this was in a rummage sale. And I picked it because I love my vintage sweaters, especially like tourist sweaters. And I thought that somebody out there would love this. And um, I was right. It sold in just a week or two. And it sold for $25, as you see here. Um, and it's obviously Rainbow Row in Charleston, South Carolina. Just a really cute, colorful uh, sweatshirt. These Birkenstocks I picked up at a thrift store. They averaged out to $3.50 for the pair. They were not what I would usually pick up in terms of Birkenstocks, although I have to say I almost never don't pick them up because they always sell for me. These did take a little bit longer, though. I'd probably say these took six to eight weeks. Um, as you can see here, they were kind of like a rubber plastic type uh, material, and they had a silver dolphin print all over them. You can probably see a bit better in this one here. They were a like a three-strap 
dry strap, whatever you want to call it. Um, and they did take a little bit of, of time, like I said. They had quite a lot of likes and things like that, but they eventually took a best offer of $35 and was pretty happy with that. Uh, Eileen Fisher paid a dollar for this piece, a very nice organic linen piece. It kind of like had a slouchy sleeve, as you can see in this photo. Super nice, great color. It just sat for a little while for me. It's been several months it's been up. Plenty of interest, no offers. Someone sent me an offer of $30, and I took that. Simple pair of shorts, paid a dollar for these. They sold for $14. Oh, and they were Abercrombie and Fitch, I should say, as well. And then the last piece on Poshmark this week. So Poshmark had quite a few sales. It was a fairly busy week, and this week is doing pretty good too, touch words, so that's good. Um, soft surroundings, and I'm going to go ahead and show you that label as well, in case you've never seen it. There we go. It's usually thin, um, and the size medium. This was a linen. I did um, use the word lagging look just because it has that kind of boxy fit. It was like a tunic length, a really cute piece. Um, I paid $4 at the thrift store for this and I've had it listed now for about six months. Someone sent me an offer of $25 and again, happy to take it. All right, let's move on to eBay. Um, so this piece I picked up just two weeks ago at the same sale as I got the shoes that I showed you right at the front, the Steve Madden boots. Um, and so $2.40 is how much I had into this and it sold for $28.99 as you see there, plus the shipping. Um, oh, and it was a 3X, I think, which is always good with Torrid, um, those larger sizes. This was not a very good buy. I paid $3.50 for this shirt at a thrift store, thinking that because it was a 1X and because it had that, like, um, I don't know, like, red, white, and blue, I suppose, with, again, with, like, 4th of July and stuff coming up, that it would do better. Um, and it didn't do so well, really. Some interest, but no other offers. So eventually someone offered me $12, and I went ahead and took it. So one world... Uh, I do pick it up if it's super cheap, like a dollar or less, and a very cute style, plus size. But other than that, I need to use a bit more discretion with that brand, I think, moving forwards. Um, okay, life is good. I picked this up because it had a pineapple on it. <laughs> and that was about it, really. It was Maui, Hawaii. So it was specific, which may have hindered it slightly. Um, anyway, it sold in less than six weeks, which isn't too bad. Um, I did take a best offer, though, of 50, and I paid $2.70 for it. So, you know... Um, this, this, blah, 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 this is the last one that I have of these. I think I started out with three. Um, it was brand new Power Ranger Deluxe costume. Um, I picked these up at a rummage sale right at the beginning of the season, probably like the very first week of March, maybe even earlier than that, maybe February. Um, and I paid $3 for this and I picked up a few of the costumes as well. Um, and I sold them all for $29.99. So that is not a bad return on investment for buying several of the same thing again super easy to make that listing they were all the same size just multiple quantity and um, just well no I was going to say just be careful if you well no I will say if you go ahead and relist if you end the listing and relist be careful because your quantity will most likely go back to what its original status was so if you had two and then you sold one and then you end the listing and relist it then it will probably go back to the quantity two you need to double check that and be aware of it and make sure you're not saying you have more than you do in stock just a little tip there when it comes to eBay uh, this has had so much interest, which is old navy, size large, but I knew it would do well. Um, it was a linen, I think it was linen blend, just like sort of thick, almost like a pinstripe. Um, and it was a romper, like a sort of cropped leg jumpsuit romper hybrid really really cute um on Poshmark on on eBay loads and loads of watches loads of likers just nobody bit and eventually somebody sent me an offer of $20 plus the shipping and I was happy to take it and I paid 50 cents for this um hot cotton size small I do prefer it in the larger sizes I paid a dollar and I took a best offer of 17 um I always use the again in here the keyword lag and look just because it has that boxy fit it's usually linen or linen blend um very kind of art teacher vibe to it and this is what the tag looks like apart from that one's kind of chewed up but you know what i'm saying <laughs> okay um nike sphere dry sphere dry there we go i guess i never heard of that before um okay so this was just a zip up hoodie um, i took best offer of 14 dollars and 14 cents Go ahead, and I guess that's what they needed to add up with their shipping. I'm not sure. I paid 50 cents for it. This took a while to sell, and I probably wouldn't pick this up again necessarily. Um, new with tags, apartment nine. This, I picked this up simply because it was pretty, and it was an extra large. It had, like, an undershirt, like a cami built in, and then down here it was, like, almost like a 
what I would call an eth- oh, I did call up there in the title an ethnic print, just really, really floaty and feminine and pretty. And um, I took the best out of offer of fifteen dollars, and I paid fifty seven cents for this at a rummage sale. Toad and Co. Toad and Company was formerly Horny Toad. It's like an outdoorsy type brand. Um, this was the Heathered Marley Short Sleeve Tee. It was organic cotton, um, and I paid two dollars and seventy cents at a thrift store for this, and I took the best offer of twenty dollars, which I'm fairly happy with. I do like picking up that brand, and again, I'm going to go ahead and show you. There we go. What the tag looks like. <clears throat> This was kind of a wild card, but this sold in just a couple of weeks, which is always interesting to me. Um, so it sold for a best offer of $22, which I was happy to take because it had no labels in it. I believe it was handmade. It was, I think it was more like a polyester, like a sateen. It wasn't, I didn't feel like a silk to me. Um, I basically grabbed it because kimonos are pretty, you know, as to wear as layering pieces are pretty in style. And I like the print. As you can see here, it was like an Asian inspired bottle print just really really interesting a really really cute piece like I said no labels or anything inside of it so $22 sold completely on style and those keywords you see there and I paid 50 cents uh, Aero Postal, I wouldn't have picked this up again, I don't think. It sat for ages, but it did sell for the full asking price of $16.99 plus shipping, which I was, again, surprised with. Um, I paid $0.50 cents and just figured I would try it out. And like I said, it has sat for quite a while. It's like a little cropped denim floral jacket, but I'm glad it for the price I got for it. I'm happy with that. I'm glad it's gone on to another home, but I've sort of had... Low confidence in that, I suppose. And like I said, it did take a while. Um, this is one of my best sales of the week. Just a few weeks ago, I did a rummage sale. Um, and I did do a whole video on that as well, which I'll try and link in the cards for you guys as well. Um, I paid 41 cents for this when it was all <laughs> evened out. It was the first thing I found when I got to the rummage sale. Um, it was one that I do not normally go to. I actually drove an hour to go to it. I picked up plenty of good stuff that I've done well with. And uh, this kind of fooled me. When I found this, I thought, oh, this is going to be good. And this was probably the best thing that I found there, I have to say. But it was Lily Pulitzer. Here's the tag if you haven't seen it. It was a size 14, which is great. Uh, Lily does usually have style numbers as well. And that's how I found out that it was the Clarita sailing dress. It was all embroidered. And then it had this beautiful scalloped edge as well with like cutout detail. Um, and this piece in particular was doing really well comp -wise. So I listed it at 100 on both Poshmark and um, on eBay. And um, I had plenty of likes. I'd sent out offers for around $80, and eventually someone came. They offered me, I think it was $55, went back and forth for a while, and we settled on $70. So $0.41 cents into $70 in just sort of two and a half weeks. I'm completely satisfied with that. And, uh, yeah, I do love finding Lily Pullets, especially in those larger sizes. Um, okay, these were also from the big shoe haul, so $2.40 is what I have in these. Um, I had sort of two minds about picking these up, but I do like the brand. It is Allegria, I think is how you say it. You can see it right here. Um, this was the kaleidoscope print. You can see that butterfly right there. That's usually the giveaway that that's what this is. And you can see in there as well. Um, and these are comfort shoes, basically. They're usually worn by like nurses and teachers, people on their feet all day long. These were super cute. They were a women's size 42, which I think think was there was 11 and a half to 12 women so they were a little bit larger and um, but they did have some scuffing to the toes which you can kind of see let me find my zoomed in. there we go you can see some of that scuffing right there and um, so I list them at $40 mostly because of the size I had quite a lot of interest back and forth with a few people and then someone offered me $30 like I said um only listed for sort of a week and a half to two weeks $30 I'm perfectly happy with that since they have some condition issues um, that's a great profit for me a good deal for them and I already got the feedback and they are happy this is another costume that I picked up when I was at that rummage sale where I got the Power Rangers one I showed you so this was also three dollars new with tags it's from the Disney zombies like made for tv movie i don't know <laughs> but anyway it sold for 24.99 the full asking price there so i'm happy with that plus the shipping uh this i only picked up not last week and the weekend before as well lula row i grabbed it because it was that sort of solid gray it had like a ribbed knit to it it was a women's large as you can see the irma um and i paid 45 cents for this and it sold for 15 dollars on a best offer in just a few days of listing so it still moves uh these are also from the um shoe haul 
Um, so again, $2.40 once more. And I got a best offer of $35 for these, which I was happy with. They were pre-owned, but they had a cool, they're vans, as you can see, a really neat taco print. Um, I do tend to try to put with something like vans where it's a unisex shoe. Um, I do put up the men's and the women's size as long as I can squeeze it in. And then when I list them, I actually list them as a unisex shoe. That is an option on eBay. It's not an option on Poshmark, unfortunately, to, to list something as unisex. Primarily on Poshmark, I'm going to list it as a women's, even though it's that larger size. Um, it's a little bit frustrating. I would love to be able to list certain things as unisex, especially like vintage T-shirts and stuff. But there we go. Maybe in the future. So 35 on the Taco Vans. Another Life is Good pineapple shirt went for $15 again. Um, this one was an extra large, and I paid $2.70. Oh, $2.70. I'm not sure if I did, actually. I think I may have got mixed up with the other pineapple. It was either... 45 cents or $2.70. But either way, I'm happy. <laughs> and it sold pretty quickly as larger sizes life is good tend to do. And the last piece is this BMW. Um, it was older, like older tags and stuff. Embroidered patch on the front. Sort of lightly distressed gray wide brim hat. Paid 25 cents at a rummage sale. And it sold for $16 on a best offer plus the shipping. Ooh, all right, we made it to the end. Thank you guys for hanging in there. Okay, so here come my numbers. Uh, gross sales this week uh, was um, $853.10, which is, if you watch my sold videos, that's more than I usually make. So I'm really, really happy with that. And uh, my cost of goods, so what I paid for every single item I showed you here was $56.91 in total. Um, the amount of fees I paid, I mention this every video, but I rounded up to 20%. Poshmark is a flat 20% fees. eBay is closer to 15 when you combine eBay and PayPal, but I like to be consistent and keep it all 20% because I like to give people who watch this video a very realistic look of what it is to have to pay fees to sell on these platforms. So I'm going to call it 20%. And 20% of my gross sales was $170.62 so that would go towards fees. And so that would put my net profit, what I walked away with after everything I spent on the items and what it cost me to sell on the platforms was $625.57 for this week. All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging in there. Let me know how your sales are going. Let me know how your sourcing is going. Have you found any good yard sales or rummage sales or neighborhood sales? I will tell you that this Saturday, I am spoiled for choice. I pretty much need to clone myself because every church in the vicinity is having a rummage sale and I'm not sure how to handle it yet. So <laughs> I will let you know how that goes, I guess, in my next whole video. Um, but have a wonderful week. If you enjoyed the video, please do um, click the thumbs up. Please do subscribe if you haven't yet. I would love to have you come back, say hello, um, so I can say hello in the comments too, back to you. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye, you guys.